Hi, I'm Michael Hatcher, pastor of the Lighthouse Community Church, sitting here with Marcus and Melissa, the local directors of Burn here in the DFW area. We plan on having the Burn here at the Lifehouse. Uh, Melissa and Marcus, how did Burn get started? Well, the Burn started in Tulsa, Oklahoma in like 2006, and it was just a group of college students that were really hungry for more of God's presence. They weren't just satisfied with your 30 minutes that you get on a Sunday morning or a Wednesday night. And they just begin to worship the Lord for long periods of time. And eventually they spread out to the city of Tulsa and begin gathering local worship teams and churches and pastors together on a, in a location that was centrally located. It was just off site and um, begin to gather for 24 hours nonstop, 48 hours nonstop, and they just begin to worship the Lord. And from that place, um, the vision of the burn, just night and day worship and prayer begin to spread and we are now currently in just four years we've spread over 90 cities and we're in 12 international locations so God is moving and people are hungry and we're really excited to be here in the Dallas Fort Worth area we've been going for three years here locally once a month 24 hours at least every month mm -hmm. for three years Marcus what is a burn all about is it about leaping and jumping and all those things and worship what is it all about now the burn is just basically just about being in his presence it's it's about finding that when we shut off all of the you know the worries and the cares of the world and we just simply sit back and rest in his presence and be still and quiet uh, he comes and he changes things and it's not about our you know our you know our prayers and our attacks against the enemies and principalities and all that it's just simply about when we make a resting place for him he comes and he changes things uh, how has burn changed your life Oh, well, actually, I, well, for one, I met my wife in the burn, <laughs> so that changed my life pretty big, but um, the first time I went to a burn, just the, the the purity in it was the fact of, like, we're just here to worship, not to make a name for ourselves, not to, you know, not to do anything but be in His presence. It wrecked me to, to the point where I was like, wow, I, this is what I want to give my life to. I was like, this is, this is what I was created to do on the earth, and and truly, like, what we do in the burn worship and prayer is what all of mankind was meant to do, and that's just to be in His presence and to fellowship with God. So, it it's wrecked my life forever. <laughs> what would you, what, if someone was going to attend one of these burns, what would they expect to get from this burn? What do you think they'll get from it? I think it would be refreshing um, because they would find themselves in an atmosphere where there's a lot of freedom, yeah. where the song of the Lord is going forth, that means that the, the people leading the worship and the people who are on the stage, they're just singing from their heart, they're singing spontaneously, they're singing God's heart over the people in the room, over the city, over the neighborhood. Yeah. So they would experience a level of freedom, a level of um, intimacy with God, and, open, and just an atmosphere where they could connect with God that's yeah. it's a lot different than maybe your corporate Sunday service. Is this, this for young people only? No, absolutely not. <laughs> not for young people. We have our sets range from guys in their 70s, you know, that play the drums, to the guys in their 50s who play the guitar, to to little children who come and play with their parents. So it's it's all ages, all sorts of music, all different languages. So it's really really open to everybody and really cool. So so it seems like you guys are doing what heaven's gonna look like. Like there's a multitude of people of different colored races and things of that nature <laughs> yeah. that they're not just singing the same old song and yeah. and jumping the same kind of way. So right. what do you think about that? You think heaven's like that? I think so. I think we just get a little a little glimpse of what it's gonna be like, you know. And I can't wait to to see the fullness of it because it's gonna be awesome. But I do think we. I do think what, what we do in the burn and what a lot of people are doing all over the earth, just simply coming together and worshiping Him in spirit and in truth and just laying uh, all pretenses aside, all identity aside to just be with Him is very much a mirror image of the worship in heaven around the throne. Acts 15, 16 says, In the last days I will restore David's fallen tent, or his fallen tabernacle, so that the remnant may seek me. And so that means the rest of humanity. So really we're modeling heaven on earth. Um, because it does say that we do believe we are in the last days, we're getting close, and so we create a resting place for God, and we are the tabernacle, 
Mm-hmm. And if God's restoring that, He's restoring that place of intimacy and worship yeah. so that everyone can encounter God and come into that place of God's presence. So yeah. that's heaven touching earth, and that's what we're after. Yeah. Hey, Marcus, Melissa, thank you so much for bringing the burn to the Life House. Uh, let's go to one of the sets that you guys have going on downstairs. I like your names because it all begins in M, and my kids' <laughs> names begin in M. All right, hey, thank you guys. All right, bye-bye.